in praise of the speech of Manjushri. Like the fresh petals of the saffron flower, opened by the rays of the sun, reflected with a spotless mirror, your pose is of a rainbow beauty. Grant me, Manjushri, the powers of speech. Your voice fills every corner of every realm in languages beyond number, in tune with and satisfying all living beings. A melody eclipsing the melody of Brahma. Your voice a vocal mandala of sound. Your words beautiful, unbroken in samsara. Banishing in those whose ears they fall upon, death, old age and sickness. A voice whose words agreeable to all, softly spoken, pleasing to the mind, delivered in eloquence, pure and uncorrupted. Easily understood, soothing, worthy of hearing, gratifying, pacifying, unsurpassed by others. Never severe nor punishing, a panacea for all. Captivating to the listener, bringer of bodily bliss, of mental joy and of peace to the soul. Words bringing the joy of insight, the happiness of uncorrupted perception. Words free from the grief that false promises bring, full of knowledge, the bearer of wisdom. Never vague nor miserly with words, bringing the joy of anticipation and foreseen fulfillment, teaching the conceivable and inconceivable, free from contradiction, fitting words in tune with the disposition of listeners. Free from the fault of repetition, words comparing to the roar of a lion, as unhindered as the trumpeting elephant, as deep as the bellowing dragon, as noble as the words of the Naga king, as soft and as sweet as Gandalfa music, as enticing as the song of the Kalapinga bird, as resonating as the sound of Brahma, as auspicious as hearing the voice of the half-human griffin. It is the voice with the authority of Indra, the sound of the drum of victory, empty of pride yet never downtrodden, full of prophecy, never vague nor half-taught, forever fulfilling, never afraid, unconcerned for the rewards of fame, a joyful voice, all-encompassing, masterful, unending and fulsome, accomplished in every sound, every language, uplifting, not open to ridicule or contempt, instantaneously there, yet unhurried, pervading samsara's every corner, dispelling the poisons of greed, hate and ignorance, victorious over Mara's hosts, simply the best. These qualities in number 64, not found lacking in even your tiniest slither of speech, will continue to be the music of joy to the ears of the fortunate for as long as space pervades. When near, not too loud. When far, never too faint, like crystal in contact with many a colour. A voice in accord with the tongues of limitless listeners. It teaches arising from your crown, the circle of hair on your brow, your throat, and indeed from any part of your precious body. And yet all thought and intention to speak have been stilled as illustrates by the melodies of Brahma resonating through the realms of space. By the wealth of merit gathered from this praise of the speech of Manjushri, whose voice compares to the deep dragon roar within the rain cloud, girdled by the beautiful lightning flashes, may your words forever reign into my ears. No sooner than your voice settles upon my ears, May I gather the fortunate about me, defeat those who peddle distorted views, and with words well composed, may I journey to perfection in the arts of teaching, logic and composition that captivate the souls of the wise. 
may I gain without hardship the perfect linguistic knowledge to penetrate with ease the languages of differing beings, and may I be unrivaled in such skills to dispel the doubts of every living being by never straying beyond the bounds set by your instructions and practicing wholeheartedly and devotedly. I pray that I may swiftly attain to the glories of your speech. Yeah.